Hey guys, welcome back to another video, and this is on something I've had for a little while now, um, around a few months now, I can't remember exactly when I bought it, uh, um, and you've seen it in my alarm collection video, but this is uh, the video on it, and it's this, Lindsack Lux Home, well, Lux Home 6 Zone Wireless Alarm Panel with um, Dialer, it is pretty much a response essay. S S A S S E. In fact, it does some label back there. Response Electronics. Don't know why it's not focusing. Yeah, it's a bit weird. I don't know why I'm Lintec likes who I rebrand alarm stuff. Because I'm pretty sure there's the Lintec Hercules panels, which look very similar to um, what they're called, Optimas, A D uh, Honeywell Optimas. But so here it is. So it's uh, got, is it going to focus? No, so it's got six zones, just have to hold it down like this. Six zones, and then there's the fire light and tamper, and then we've got power, part arm light, full arm light, and then the battery warning light. This doesn't have batteries in it. And I'm, gonna, I'm running it off, well, just a 12 volt power adapter, which is on the floor there. <clears throat> then that's the microphone there. All the microphone holes there. Then there's a speaker there, but I've disconnected the speaker because it's quite loud. <laughs> oh yeah, and the keys are back there, which are cool. Why does this thing want to focus? There we go. Right, so I'm going to power it up now, and you'll see the um, light, lights uh, sort of do a cool sort of light up and sequ sequential thing. So if I plug it in, and it makes like a little tip. I think there's like a There we go. So power is on. As you can see, right, I'm just going to, um, I think it might be enough. It's defaulted as well, so it's got like the, um, there we go. That's, oh, I know, it was already reset. Hang on, let's get that. I don't know what I just did there. So it's nice. I like the backlit lights. The green is really nice on them. So there it is. So it hasn't got any devices on it yet. Um, I'm thinking. So you can get response thing, uh, response devices. But with these, here's the thing. With these motion sensors, they're red shield. But with these, do you reckon these motion sensors would work on here? Because this neat wireless, this wireless alarm uses a house code. And hang on, let me just uh, open up this one. There is, I don't know where you're going to see this, but there is a house code setting on here, and then a zone. And I'm pretty sure the motion sensors for the uh, response stuff are similar, so is there a way, I need a battery for this as well, is there a way for this to work on that on the response panel? Or do I need response or Lux Home motion sensors? Please put in the comments, that would be great. Now, with wired panels that don't have sensors on them, they usually you try and set them and they won't but not with this one you can because it's wireless you can set it without devices and it's not really that smart so and the way you do it is you press so let's say we want a full arm so we press full arm then your code that was seven wasn't it oops I'm trying to look at it hang on right cancel that right full arm one, two, three, four, and then enter. And then that, it will be beeping right now, but I've disabled it. And the um, full on light is flashing away. And then it will come on solid when it's done. Come on. I don't know. I need to, um, I, think, I don't know if there's a way to change the setting for it. Hello. There we go. Now it's set. And then, of course, to unset it, you press the reset that button, followed by one, two, three, four, and then enter or wherever your code is, and then enter. And then we can do part arm, which is one, uh, the part arm symbol, and then three, one, two, three, four, enter. So I press that. Oh, I think this, this key is a bit weird, but. 
part arm. One, two, three, four. Why isn't that working? Hang on. Something's not right here. Right, reset. All right. Part arm. One, two, three, four. There we go. Wait, what? Oh, this panel's really weird. Hang on. Escape that. I don't know why it's doing that. Right, let's try again. Third, fourth, third or fourth time lucky. Right, part arm. One, two, three, four. Enter. Sorry about that, guys. I have no idea what the problem was, but <laughs> I think it's working now. So if we do part arm, one, two, three, four. Enter. So then all the zone lights light up except zone one, because that's just saying that... Zone, I think default zone one is the exit route. I don't know if there's a way to change it. Or is it exit route? I don't know. But it just um, sort of bypasses zone one for default. So you can see the part arm light is flashing it. It will come on solid in a minute. Come on. Yep, there we go. And then, of course, to reset it, you press reset. One, two, three, four, enter. Or oh, whatever your code is, and enter. Right, let's do a panic. So you have to press this nine down for like four seconds. Is it four seconds? Or three? You won't. I'll show you something in a minute. In fact, I'll cause a tamper in a minute as well. So if we do um that, I think you just heard it click then. And all lights flash for some reason. Okay, one, two, three, four, enter. That's reset. So we've had that click on. Right, for some reason, the back tamper on this is really sensitive. I'm surprised it's taken this far on the video for it to not go off. But as soon as I do it, it'll click and the uh, tamper light will come on. There we go. And even though the um, speaker's disconnected, you can still, because it's all like on the. Uh, What's it called? The um, circuit board produces all the tones. You can just about, I don't know how well this is going to work, but I don't know if you can hear that. But it is sort of making a quiet noise. Right, let's just reset that and I'll show you the inside. Mm -hmm. Right, so to get into engineer's mode to bypass tamper and stuff, it's the unlock key, followed by one... Oh, I've gone into tamper again, haven't I? There's a panel. I think there is a way to disconnect the um, tamper on it, but right, reset. One, two, three, four, enter. Right, unlock. One, two, three, four, and then when I press enter, those lights light up and those start flashing. Right, and then we can open it and it won't go off or anything. So this is it, the inside. So here we have, so why is the line so shocking? So we've got the uh, DC in there and of course the cable goes out and then it's plug. We've got terminals. That is for a the wired bell. I might see if I can wire a fire alarm to it. Actually, it might not work, but it's worth a try. <laughs> might see if that will work. See if that will go off when the alarm goes off. Then we have. I can't remember what those terminals are for. I think they're just for um another communicator or something. Then we have the lights. Batteries, there were, they were two of that. I think I've still got them. Uh, for some reason, I've kept them, but they don't work. They are these very pathetic looking six volt batteries, really small ones, and there's like they go in there and over there, but they, they were dead when I got the panel, so the panel was used. Okay, 
Okay, and then so, so then you've got the. Uh, you can't really see that, but there is a reset jumper pin there. And then the. Uh, there's like I think that's for that. I don't know where the jumper's gone. I've lost the jumper pin for it. But there was a a, re, a, tam, a wall tamper disablement thing on it. Okay, what I will do in another video is do go through some of the program features because I need to read the um, instruction manual. There is there is one online. So let's just escape that. And why don't we just why don't we just finish the uh, video off with a panic alarm? And you hit a click. Actually no, actually I've got another thing we could show you. I could show you actually. Which I think might be quite cool. Right, so let me just reset that. Mm, 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 mm. So when you so say it's already so it's already reset. So if you were to press reset again, one, two, three, four, and then enter, it goes into some sort of like small um what's the word? Not small, uh sort of basic engineer's mode. So you can do a test, so like walk test would be one. Uh, number two is bell test, and you'll hear it click. I think that's bell test anyway. And then just escape that. Oh, in fact, it does it automatically, right? So if you press two, it'll click, and then it'll stop clicking again in a minute. Three is internal siren test, and you'll hear that. You might just about hear the faint noise of the siren. And it stops. And then I've no idea what four and five are. Four, no idea. <laughs> but the light doesn't go out, so you have to press escape on that. Uh, five, no idea either. <laughs> Okay, that's it then. And then six, no idea. What about seven? Seven and eight. Uh, don't do anything. So, I will do a more in-depth video in, on like the um, programming and stuff once I've had a look at the um, once I've had a look at the instructions because um, I need to get scripts with it and maybe I might buy a few devices for it because I think it'll be quite cool to have a little system going. But that's pretty much it. So this that was the uh, Lux Home uh, response slash Lux Home, whatever you want to call it. SA, what was it? SA, SASSE wireless dialer control panel thing, six zone. Thanks for watching. Please comment, like, and subscribe.